Hey Emmaus and welcome back to Holy Week, uh, the week of devotionals that we're looking at leading up to Easter Sunday. And we've been looking at what Jesus has done each day leading up to Easter Sunday, which will be this coming Sunday. It's called Holy Week, right? And today is actually Holy Wednesday. But the funny thing about this Wednesday is the Bible doesn't actually record Jesus doing anything on this day. Kind of awkward for me as I'm trying to give this devotional. But what's interesting is some scholars kind of speculate and assume that maybe Jesus and his disciples were resting on this Wednesday. Because after a busy couple days in Jerusalem, um, they were resting leading up to the feast of the Passover that would happen on Thursday. That you guys will hear more about tomorrow. Um, and so I decided it was a good day to maybe talk about rest. Because you're in the middle of your week, you're, it's Wednesday, um, you're in the middle of your school week, in the middle of this quarantine, and maybe we could learn something from Jesus about rest. Because even in the middle of an angst-filled, fear-filled, stress-filled week that he was facing, he still chose to rest. And so maybe where we feel like we're in the same boat in this quarantine, um, so we can learn something too. So I want to read you words straight from Jesus' mouth um, out of Matthew 11. And it's Matthew 11, 28 through 30, and it says this, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've been <clears throat> catching up on rest a lot during this quarantine. I'm getting my full eight hours, if not more, but I still feel physically tired sometimes during the day. Because even though I'm getting um, physical rest, I'm still facing the same stresses and worries with this COVID-19 quarantine situation. Um, I don't really feel rested. Um, but what's really cool about this passage is Jesus isn't talking about physical rest. He says that he can give us rest for our souls. And that's a really cool thing because that means I'm able to actually give him my burdens, the worries that I'm carrying, the stresses I'm carrying. And he takes them from me and he trades me um, a burden that's light, easy to carry, not the one that I'm carrying and trying to do on my own. It's kind of like um, when I go hiking with my brother, we always take a couple backpacks, right, full of the supplies we need. And somehow I'm always the one convinced that we're going to need a lot of water. So I put all the water bottles in my bag and we're hiking up this big mountain. Well, maybe um, we've hiked a 14er, we're going to St. Mary's Glacier. These are all things in Colorado. And um, we're halfway up the mountain and I'm like really tired because my backpack is killing my shoulders. And what he does is he trades bags with me. He gives me the light bag and he takes the heavy one. And that's what Jesus does for us. He takes our heavy load off of our shoulders. And instead he gives us rest by giving us um, something that is so much lighter for us to carry. And so I just want to encourage you as you look back on this um, Holy Wednesday and what was happening, choose to rest. Realize that Jesus took the weight of your sin to the cross later this week. And he took the weight of what you have to carry and he gave you rest for your souls. So choose to experience that rest today. Um, live into that a little bit as we look at the rest of our week this week. So hope you guys have a good day. See you later.